Looker Studio offers extensive customization options to make your dashboards unique, from changing chart colors to creating custom dimensions. Instead of going through each option individually, we'll take a more hands-on approach because we will build an entire dashboard together, focusing on essential customization features. Let's get started. All right, so we are going to rebuild this dashboard from scratch. Now, the only thing you have to do is just watch me or even better, follow along as I go through the entire process. Now we have to build a new report and for this we'll click on the blank report card which has the plus sign. We're now prompted to connect to our dataset. Now, our dataset is actually stored in Google Sheets and it is called the metricslab.net and the specific spreadsheet that we're working on right now is called the Metrics Lab Web Data. Back to Lucas Studio, we'll select the Google Sheets connector, select the correct spreadsheet and the right worksheet. Click on Add. Click Add to Report. Great, we are now in the report editor and are ready to get started. I'll start by delete this table. Let's rename our report. Press Enter. Now, what we'll do first is to rebuild our banner. For this, we'll select a shape. Click and drag. And let's change the background color. We'll use a custom color, so click here in the custom area on the plus sign. Let's change the hex color to hash 1F1755. Click on done. Great. Now let's add our logos. For this, you'll go to image and we'll upload it from our computer. Now, just to let you know, my logos already have a transparent background. In case your transparency doesn't work, simply go to style and set it to transparent. Otherwise, you may run into a situation like this one. But again, make sure that you already have a transparent background prior. I'll go back to transparent and let me resize it. Let's add the second one. Now I'll group them together by using my control key on the keyboard. And with my mouse, I'll select and hold the control key, right click and select group. This way, I can just move them together at the same time. Click on View to preview your work. Great. So right now, I believe that the dashboard's height is a bit too short for my liking. So we'll reduce this. Let's go back to Edit. Now go to Theme and Layout. Layout. Scroll down. And in the Canvas Size section, go to Height. And let's change this to 1050. Press Enter. Now the height has been adjusted and increased. Now we'll add our Date Range Selector. Go to Add Control, select Dead Range Control, and we'll place it right here. Now you may not see it because of the colors, so we'll change, go to Style, and for Dead Range Picker, let's select White. Perfect. Now let's build our scorecards. Go to Add a Chart, and let's select the first scorecard. Let's increase the size. That should be about enough. Now we'll change the metric from Record Count to Views. In GA4, these are equivalent to page views. Now we'll add a spark line to our scorecard. Select date. For the other comparison option, keep period. And now we'll go to the comparison date range and we'll select previous period. Click apply. Now nothing will appear. We won't see the small comparisons that shows the percentage based on a previous period. But once we'll select the date range, they will appear. Just hang on for now. Now let's style this up a little bit. We'll go to style and let's change the background of the scorecard. We're going to select the color we added before and come back to background and we'll add some gradient. We'll click here on gradient. Let's select 45% for the angle. Click on done. Nice. Now let's change the color of the font. Go to labels and let's select white. We don't see the spark line very well, so we'll change also the color of the spark line. Go here in the spark line section and let's select about this color. Great. I also want to fill the area under the spark line, like an area chart. So click on fill, and then we're going to smooth out our spikes by clicking on smooth. This just makes it easy on the eyes. Now we can drag our scorecard right here. I also just want to center everything. So go here and center the metric name, the metric value, and the comparison. Fantastic. You can right click on your scorecard and duplicate it or copy and paste it. And you can also use your keyboard shortcuts to do so. Control C and then Control V. Once again, this way we don't have to build every scorecard again from scratch. The only thing left now is just to change the values, the dimensions and the metrics. So 
here we select the second scorecard and we want to see the number of total users instead of views so go to metrics click on it and let's find total users perfect let's go to the third scorecard and here i'm interested to see the total number of conversions all right again don't worry because if you don't see any comparisons or if you see a flat line for conversions this is because we did not select a date range yet and just to let you know the available dates for this data set starts from april 11 to may 7. let's select something here so we'll select let's say the 18th of april to the 24th of april so seven days now click on apply and here the magic works you can always change the colors of the comparisons if they're not easy to read. In fact, if you look at percentages, it is very hard to see them. What you can do now, click and drag to select all your three scorecards together. In the properties panel, go to style, and you can change the color of the comparison field. So here we'll change the negative color, add it to something a bit lighter, something like a yellow. Now let's round the corners of our scorecards. Again, select them all, go to style, scroll down, and let's change the border radius to 5. As you can see, the corners are round up. Now let's welcome our users with a welcoming text. And for this, I'll copy this waving hand emoji. Now let's add a text. Go to text. Click here. And you won't be able to see anything because the font color is black and with the background. But you can still type your text. And let's say, hi, welcome to your dashboard. And now let's select everything. Let's change the font color to white. Let's increase the font size about 20. And let's make our text bold. And we can paste our waving hand. Make this a bit larger. Much better. Now I want to give the option to users or anyone who can view this dashboard to either download it or share it. So a nice option that you have is to go to add a control and click on button. I'll change the text. Let's style this up again a little. Go to style and let's change the font color to white. We'll change also the background color and use our custom color that we had initially for our banner. Let's take care of the opacity. I'll go something like 70%. And we'll change also the border color to this one. And for the border weight, select 2. I think the font size is too big, so let's go for 18. Much better. Now, you have the option to insert a link, so feel free to insert any link you want. This can also be the page of one of your reports if you have another page. I'll add a second button. So I'll copy-paste this one. Go to Setup. And this time, we'll change the action type. Go to Report Actions. So we'll choose an action that users can have with this button and we'll select download report. Let's rename this. Now users can come and download this report as a PDF. Again, we'll add third button, void share. Let's go to report actions again in button action type. And now let's select invite people. Here you may add people and groups to your dashboards and limit their restrictions. It can either be viewers or editors. This will be up to you. Now, I do not need a menu, but let's create one in case you run into this situation. Luca Studio has different menu options and also sets one for you by default, but we will create our own. This will be a basic one, and if you want to learn more about menus, check our video that covers everything about custom menu navigations. First, we'll need to add some pages. So go here, add page. And let's rename our first page, home. Let's rename the second one. I'll just say audience. And we'll add again another page. This will be a page to contacts. Let's go back to the home page. Now let's see the process to create a menu. First, you need to add some text. So here, select text. Again, we won't be able to see anything because the font color is in black. So let's change this to white. We can now start typing. And we'll type home for our home page. Now, click to select the text, and in the Properties panel, go to Insert Link. Click here under, and now you can select one of the pages of your report, and we'll select the home page. Click Apply. Now, because this is a link, the color will change. What you need to do is select it again, 
And now here again in the properties panel, remove the underline by selecting the underline. And let's change again the color to white. Now, if the color still hasn't changed, you can simply click again on your text box, go back to the font color, pick a different color, and then pick white again. This will do the trick. I will center my text now. Let's copy and paste this. I'll change the text. And now the only thing left to do is select each one of them and make sure that you select the correct report page. And we're now done with our banner. Let's preview this, click on the view button, and this is what we have. Now to remove this default navigation, go back to edit, go to theme and layout, go to layout, and here you have the default navigation type, which is set on the left. You have a different one that you can explore, but we'll select hidden. And now if I was to view our dashboard, the default navigation is gone.